Hi again, my name's Andy and uh, thank you for uh, all of the encouragement I've had on this project so far and uh, some nice comments. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. It gives me the uh, enthusiasm to carry on with the project. Uh, I'm a good start but a lazy finisher uh, g generally <laughs> with projects. Uh, I, get, I get distracted all too easily. Um, but it's getting to a stage where I need to sort of finalise the ideas, uh, the design uh, that I'm going to use for uh, this uh, little uh, hips uh, pendulum clock mechanism and I just thought I'd share uh, some of my thoughts and um, uh, reasonings with you. Um, I think I'm just putting off the, <laughs> the action of actually doing it but uh, anyway I just wanted to explain uh, why I'm going to be changing some things. At the moment, the pendulum swings uh, about uh, three and a half inches. So, if you look at the right hand end of the rule there, so it's it's about three and a half inches, plus the width of the pendulum and any rubbish I've got hanging off it. And um, I want to keep the case of the clock. If I put it in a case, it may just go against the backboard. Um, uh, I want to keep it as, as narrow as possible. Uh, I don't want to use up a lot of wall space uh, for this thing. Um, so that's, that's going to be one of the considerations. And uh, the other thing I'm starting to think about now is how I'm going to suspend the pendulum. And uh, the reason I'm sort of thinking about that is, um, as I showed you before, and I'll show you again, uh, currently the uh, the pendulum is just on that hook I'm trying to balance on the ladders here and um, that's got to be very inefficient uh, a lot of friction um, but it's just a hole drilled in the wood uh, uh, I, I did it courtesy of putting a drop of oil on it not that I expect it does a lot um, but uh, obviously that's inefficient what I was going to do was um, uh, drill a hole in the end of the pendulum, something like this, and then uh, take a bit of spring steel and um, put a little loop on the end of it and then arrange for that to go into the pendulum. Um, let's say something like that. Uh, so that it uh, won't pull out. Obviously I put it in the middle, uh, but then uh, that could be suspended and so long as I'm within the elastic limits of the uh, spring steel I can do a similar thing at the top and, you know, cut that off and put another little loop and I could have that and that could uh, swing backwards and forwards forever. The and, and that would be fine. I, I, I can't see any problems uh, with that. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I haven't got any friction involved in it. But what I want to do is I want to use the uh, electromagnet that I've got, not at the end of the pendulum, because at the moment I'm very much aware that uh, uh, if, if this was the uh, electromagnet, um, a lot of its energy is being used to actually pull the pendulum down rather than just pulling it across. Um, so I know if I put the mag sorry if I put the magnet at the side of the pendulum uh, with a suitable bit of metal there obviously um, uh, I can uh, pull the pendulum and that is notionally more efficient than trying to do it from the bottom. Um, so I want to keep the air gap small, so given that I've got a, a, a three or four inch swing here, it, it, it could be that I just sort of arrange the timing so as it's right at the end of the swing. I really want to do that, uh, but I know that the, the swing at the top, it, or the gap that would be created, uh, is very small. So if I put the magnet at the top, um, I'm always working with a small air gap um, and, and that has got to be good. I know there's the leverage comes into it but I think 
um, having a small air gap is good because the electromagnetic force is subject to an inverse square rule and that is if you double the distance you quarter the power so um, it, the closer I can get it the more powerful the magnet uh, acts upon the pendulum and, and that in turn will save uh, battery uh, power. The only problem if I use this mechanism and I have my magnet here then at the moment of impulse it will actually tend to do that exaggerating it and I think that could set up a wobble so I think I've got to go to some more positive sort of bearing so maybe something uh, like that um, so now when my magnet operates uh, it, it doesn't have uh, this sort of bending effect on the pendulum suspension system anyway that's what I'm thinking about so um, today I think I'll see if I can find a, a suitable backboard because I, I need to start putting things together uh, because if I try to mount the little clock up by the ceiling I'll have to erect scaffolding but remember what I've shown you so far um, is uh, it, it's just a trial but I just wanted to share that sort of uh, design thought or criteria with you um, so I want to make the clock uh, very narrow I want to keep it as narrow as possible um, and um, uh, I guess that's it so I'll put this together as a little video and um, download that or upload that and um, hopefully press on at the moment the uh, the mechanisms running with a little bit of a random nature to it and uh, if you look at the, the number of hits and misses so um, if we just right that's just charged it now it's missed and then it's charged it again missed charged so one miss two misses <laughs> And then it charges one miss and then it charge and I love that all my life I've built machines that have had to run with total uh, uh, precision um, and I love this random nature to the fact that it's uh, it just uh, calls for energy when it wants it and that's uh, probably all to do with the, uh, the lousy bearing at the top of the pendulum but uh, I love this sort of analog feedback and as I say puts me in mind of a, a hit and miss engine with uh, or, or an engine with a regulator and I guess this is all it is it's a regulator it's just counting the degrees that the pendulum has moved and uh, when it's uh, not moved enough it just says uh, give me a little bit more um, so uh, uh, there we go okay um, that's uh, that's all for this one guys um, uh, I'll get on with uh, building it okay thanks for watching I say thanks uh, for the uh, encouragement uh, I <laughs> it is appreciated